Hey there. Many of you have asked me about the correct use of supposed to. If you're confused about this phrase, that's because supposed to is actually used in four different ways. So in this lesson, I will teach you all of these uses and as always, there is a quiz at the end of the video to check your understanding. All right, let's get started. Before we talk about the uses, you should first know the basic structure of this phrase. The structure is be plus supposed to plus the main verb of the sentence in its base form. So you will always have some form of the verb be at the beginning of the phrase am, is, are, was, or were. So you should never say have supposed to or did supposed to or something like that. You always need be. But which form of be you should use depends on the subject and the tense of the sentence. So let me ask you, what form of be do we use with I in the present? We use am, so we say am supposed to. For the past, we say was supposed to. What about for he, she, and it? Is in the present and was in the past. And for you, we, and they? Are in the present and were in the past. Now when I show you examples, it will be easy to understand these, but just remember that you should always put the correct form of be at the beginning of this phrase. So let's now look at the first use of supposed to, and it is to talk about duty, responsibility, or obligation. That means things that you have to do. For example, let's say that I'm giving a lecture to a group of students, and some of them start talking among themselves. I might say, you're supposed to listen during the lecture, not talk. That means you have to listen or you must listen during the lecture, you mustn't talk. This is a present tense sentence, so here's a past example. Imagine that this gentleman is late to a meeting in his office. His boss says, why are you late? You were supposed to be here at 9 o'clock. Notice that you were supposed to expresses some responsibility he had in the past. In this case, he failed to fulfill that responsibility. He was late. Now, you might be thinking, can we use supposed to to talk about the future? Yes, we can, but we just use a present tense form. For example, I'm supposed to give a speech at my best friend's wedding next week. So this expresses not a duty, but an obligation, something I have agreed to do in the future, to give a speech. Now these sentences all express some positive duty, responsibility, or obligation. You can use the negative form, not supposed to, to say that something is not allowed, as in, you're not supposed to smoke in here. That means you're not allowed to smoke in here. Or, we are not supposed to feed the animals in the zoo. Again, it means that feeding the animals is against the rules of the zoo. It can also be used in question forms. For example, when are we supposed to submit this assignment? Meaning, when do we have to or when do we need to submit this assignment? A very common question that you will hear, especially when people are annoyed or irritated, is what am I supposed to do? Now imagine that I'm working in an office and a colleague of mine comes to me and says, look at the printer. It never works when I need to print something. So I say, what am I supposed to do, right? I mean, it's not my fault. I didn't make the printer, so why are you asking me? Now at this point, I want to alert you against a common error. Many learners of English write supposed to without the D at the end of supposed. When we talk, it's difficult to say supposed to, so we drop that D sound in natural speech and we say it like supposed to. But when you write, you should always write supposed with the D. All right, so this is the first use. Let's turn to the second use to talk about the intention or purpose of something. For example, what is a calculator supposed to do? That means, what is a calculator meant to do? or what is a calculator intended to do, or what is the purpose of a calculator. All of these mean the same thing. So can you answer that question? What's a calculator supposed to do? Well, here's my answer. 
It's supposed to help you do mathematical calculations quickly. What are ATMs supposed to do? They're supposed to let a bank's customers withdraw cash when they need it. A company's logo is supposed to help people easily identify its products. You can also talk about intention or purpose in the past. The government's new e-filing website was supposed to make income tax payments simpler for citizens. That is, the purpose was to make it easier for people to pay their taxes. But many people say it has made the process more difficult. The important thing with the second use is that here we're not talking about any duty. A calculator, for example, is not a person. It has no sense of responsibility. Instead, these sentences express the purposes of the various things. And now let's move on to use number three to talk about expectations and arrangements. Here's an example. What am I supposed to write in a cover letter? That's the letter you attach with your resume or CV when you apply for a job. So the question means, what am I expected to write in a cover letter? What does the recruiter expect? You're supposed to say what job you want to apply for and what relevant skills you have. That's what you are expected to write. Here's a past tense sentence. The match was supposed to start at 5 p.m., but it has been delayed due to rain. That is, the arrangement was for the match to begin at 5, so people expected that it would start at that time, but it's been delayed. We often use the negative form, not supposed to, when something unexpected happens. One of the fans in the stadium might say, it wasn't supposed to rain today. That means, I saw the weather forecast last night on TV, and the weatherman said it would be bright and sunny today, so I'm shocked and I'm disappointed that it's raining. So that's the third use. The fourth and final use of supposed to is to talk about popular belief. That is what many people say, think, or believe. Here's an example. Harvard Business School is supposed to have the best MBA program in the world. What does it mean? It means the same thing as saying many people say or many people believe that Harvard Business School has the best MBA program in the world. Another example, this restaurant is supposed to serve fantastic sushi. That means a lot of people say that the sushi is very good at this particular restaurant. We also sometimes use this form when we want to express anger or frustration because the popular belief happened to be wrong. I got robbed in broad daylight in Canada once, and it's supposed to be one of the safest countries in the world. In broad daylight means during the daytime. So I'm saying many people think Canada is a really safe country, but look at what happened to me. I got robbed. All right, those are the four uses of supposed to or be supposed to, which is the complete structure. And now if you're ready, it's time for the quiz. There are eight sentences on the screen. I want you to rewrite each sentence using supposed to. Stop the video, write out your answers, then play the video again and check. All right, here are the answers. How many did you get right? Let me know in the comments. If you like this lesson, give it a thumbs up by hitting the like button. If you're new to my channel, click that subscribe button and that little bell icon next to it to get my latest lessons right here on YouTube. Happy learning. Now we'll see you in another lesson soon.